Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. You're finally awake. Great. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Mudkip. Glad to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around before. How is a Pokemon talking like a human? Huh? You're a human? But you look like a normal Cinequil in every way. Uh, what? <gasps> it, it's true! I've turned into a Cinequil. But why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name. What's your name? My name? That's right. My name is... Um... I think it was... Jeffrey. That's it. My name is Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey's your name? Well... It's a funny name. I'm just gonna call you Cinequil, if that's okay. Somebody, please, help me! Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my Caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the Fisher and out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. And just like that, I was thrown into a whole new world. I had no idea where I was, or even who I was. Some things were vaguely familiar to me, but the rest of it was all entirely new. First off, I know that I'm not supposed to be a Cyndaquil. I was a human. But there was no two ways about it. This wasn't a dream. This was real. I had turned into a Pokemon. And not only that, but I couldn't find any other humans anywhere. Everywhere I looked, all I saw were Pokemon. I do remember Pokemon. They were these creatures that battled alongside humans. Some humans kept Pokemon as pets, while others used them for battling and competitions. I tried to tell Mudkip all of this, but the more I talked about it, the more they thought I was just crazy. From what I remember, Pokemon battles were typically done in a light-hearted environment, like a sort of game. But this was no game. All of the Pokemon here were under a great deal of stress. They were all running around and attacking us without a second thought. We tried talking to them, but Mudkip said that there was no point. Apparently, there's been a series of natural disasters that have left all of the Pokemon really on edge. Some are attacking out of fear for their lives, while others are trying to defeat the other Pokemon in an attempt to grow stronger as a method of survival. While all we wanted to do was just to get through this forest. Everything was so hectic, I felt like I had to be constantly aware of the area around me. I had to make sure I knew where other Pokemon were entering from and be prepared to battle. Running away didn't seem possible with how small these pathways are. Not to mention we didn't have a map. 
We tried to create one along the way, so that we could make sure we didn't spend more time on each floor than we needed to. Our objective was to find a staircase that would take us to a different floor of the dungeon. Why there was a staircase in the middle of a forest, I had no idea. But I feel like that's the least of my concerns right now. It may be recommended to get to the next floor as quickly as possible. But Mudkip said it's also a good idea to comb out the entire floor before taking the stairs, so that you could get a hold of any useful items along the way. The floors ahead would only get tougher, so I guess there was some sense in what they were saying. Mudkip also told me that I should try and refrain from using my moves in dungeons. It sounded crazy, but it was for a good reason. Mudkip said that the layout of these dungeons change every single time you visit them. That's why nobody ever has a map to these areas, and why keeping the map that you made on your first visit wouldn't really be useful later on. Well, no wonder why Butterfree wasn't able to rescue Caterpie all by herself. It's like a never-ending maze. But it gets worse. There's no telling how long each dungeon is going to be. So when we make our way through one, it's best if we don't use up all of our moves right away. Since each move can only be used a certain number of times, we would need to save our moves for any stronger Pokemon we may find along the way at the end of the dungeon. It was incredibly crucial that I assessed the situation I was in and prioritized my moves to be used only in drastic situations. Either that or rely on any of the items we found in dungeons. There was the Orin Berry, which would fully heal the HP of whoever ate it, but it wasn't very appetizing. We would eat these apples that usually appeared in dungeons. Walking through all these mazes can take a lot out of you, so we'll need to keep our strength up and bellies full in order to make it to the end. There were also max elixirs that would fully restore the PP on a Pokemon's moves, but the most valuable asset to our success was an item called the Reviver Seed. These would revive us back to perfect health if we were ever to faint in a dungeon. It all seemed completely weird, but Mudkip and I were determined to make it through the woods and save that Caterpie. Even though this may not be my place, and I don't entirely understand the ins and outs of this Pokemon dominant world, none of that really mattered. Someone was in trouble. Do you need any other reason to help somebody in need? So I just kept pushing forward with Mudkip until we finally reached the end. We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. My baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately, with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. Oh, it's great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Mudkip. And this is Cinequil. Oh. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Mudkip and Cyndaquil. I know it really isn't enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Thank you so much. Goodbye! Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So, what are you gonna do? Do you have any plans? Well, um... Hmm. Listen, Cinequil. If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Well, this is the place. Wow! I can't explain it, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon, 
Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail, even though I don't have a tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm Cyndaquil. Oh, Cyndaquil, you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Cyndaquil. I was sure you would like it. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from Pokemon here. You know, just like the fissure Caterpie fell into. For some reason, there have been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in those tough times. I want to help change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So, uh, well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? Cynical, with you, I think we could even become the world's best rescue team. How about it? I'll admit, it was fun going on that adventure with you, Mudkip. And forming a rescue team to help other Pokemon that are in trouble might actually be kind of fun. And it might also help me discover how I got here and who I am. So sure, let's form a rescue team. Perfect! That's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Cyndaquil. Glad to have you on board. The team name. Well, I don't have one yet. So Cyndaquil, what do you think would be a good name for us? A name for the rescue team? Um, I wasn't prepared for that. How about... Um... I don't know why, but this is the only name that comes to mind for a rescue team name. I have a feeling it isn't very original, though. But what do you think about the name Go-Getters? Go-Getters? I like it! It's a good name! It's perfect for us! Rescue Team Go-Getters. Let's do good starting tomorrow. Let's play Blue Rescue Team. Wait, why did I say that?